Banjo player name of, by the name of Clifton Hicks. Let's start off the show with. As you can see, I'm kind of covered up here because I'm getting ready to go clear some snow again. Oh, that poor, poor snowblower. So I figured I'd get in here and do this before I don't want to do it anymore. Lots in the news. Let's go. As if 2022 wasn't crazy enough. We got Electro electro Boom sticking a knife into a toaster. We may be going into full fascism here in Canada. Tom McDonald drops a new album. And the Lord and Savior Billy Gates is disappointed Omicron showed up. Guess it was bad for business. All this and we're barely into 2022. Now, without further ado, let's get it on with the copyright strikes, shall we? <laughs> All right. Well, I've been following. Um, I've been following this for a bit. Uh, there's a uh, in in the world of punk music. There was a legend called Wendy O. Williams. Uh, she was big in the 80s. Uh, had a band called Plasmatics. Uh, she uh, used to uh, play with Motorhead and stuff like this. Anyways, uh, somebody uh, one day I just happened to come across this. I'm like, who is this? What What is this band, right? It looked old, 80s. So I'm like, I'll click on it see what happens. Anyways, it took me down a rabbit hole and I... Didn't even know existed with this uh, band and uh, her her life and legacy and everything else and you know and and the whole history of Wendy O Williams uh, back in the day uh, and uh, it was a uh, really cool and fun and I watched like I don't know a hundred videos already of uh, just the uh, you know live shows they used to do all over the world and um, you know all the crazy videos they were doing and. Yeah, stuff like that. It was really good. Anyways, here's a piece of that. Uh, if you want, check that out. Because that was actually very interesting. Even if you're not into punk music or you're just into music in general, check it out. Wendy O. Williams. If it plays. There you go. Thank you. 
There you go, some Wendy Earl Williams. Like I said, if you're into the old school punk music, if you, uh, you know, into the Mohawks and stuff like that, this is definitely something to look into, you know, because they got it all there from the 80s, you know, with the big green Mohawks and everything else, like real old school. It was very good stuff. And like I said, it took me down a rabbit hole and I couldn't stop watching for a while because it was just interesting. It's like chronicling her life, you know? And legend. There you go. Wendy O. Williams. Can't go wrong. What else do we have in the news here? Before I move on to other things. Uh, oh yeah. For those who uh, follow Garage 54. I don't know if you've seen that. Their ladder on tracks. <laughs> That was uh, pretty good. That was pretty good stuff. I had a good laugh at them. Uh, they're just driving around, uh, just, you know, bagging this thing. And, <laughs> and they looked like they were having a lot of fun with that. So uh, check that out. Garage 54, Lada on tracks. <laughs> it was good. It was good. It was really good. Uh, V2 and Garage is uh, doing a 65 Mustang. Just finished that McLaren. That was a nice interesting uh, project to watch for a young guy like him and you know taking on a mclaren like that oh my goodness they did a really nice job in a mclaren i gotta say i i wasn't i i didn't like the the, the paint color at first but it grew on me as my own opinion i would have painted something else, but it looked good it, it they did a really nice job it's very nice very clean and now he's moved on to a 65 mustang We'll see how that goes, and, uh, you know, hopefully he gets that thing, uh, cherry. Uh, other than that, uh, what else we got? Uh, not much else, uh, surprisingly. Uh, other than that, uh, just enjoying the cold. Not really. Uh, the only thing nice about it is, uh, you know, our sunrises and sunsets, when the sun's not covered in snow and cloud, that is, they look great. But it's freaking cold. And now I got a, you know, a whole bunch of snow drifts now again to clear out. I got a whole bunch. I got a whole series on, uh, you know, this winter alone. Uh, I'm, built, I'm working on that video for my channel. It'll be good. It'll be funny. It'll be some comical uh, uh, things in there. You're going to have a good laugh at that for sure. Uh, other than that. Uh, on to uh, some more music here. I got uh, my good, uh, well, not good, good friends, but friends anyways. Uh, Rebel Priest. I've, uh, I, I've had down below, I got videos of him live, performing live at a, at a, at a buddy shop a couple times now. Uh, they're uh, out of Vancouver. Great, great bunch of guys. Uh, they often tour out in Japan and all that. I figure I'd give them a shout out and uh, give them a bit of a plug on this here uh, shit show. So here we go. Let's play some Rebel Priest. Yeah, not bad, eh?
I should mention this song is about Freddy Krueger. How sweet fresh meat! There you go. Good old Rebel Priest, my friends. If you see them anywhere, you see them playing anywhere, you see uh, something that says Rebel Priest, if you're in the BC area or wherever else they might be, go check them out. You won't be, uh, you know, disappointed. They throw on a really good show. You know, they're very talented. Good times. And then uh, they're usually running around with their other friends, Barbarians. Another good band. Great punk bands. Yeah! Lots of good times, because eventually all that stuff's going to happen again. You know, things will uh, improve, I hope. You never know around here. Anyways, back to more copyright strikes. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yes. This guy here. His name is Clayton. Some people know him as uh, Cell Dweller, other people know him as Scandroid. I, per I personally know his music through uh, a band that he had back, way back when, uh, called Circle of Dust. I uh, listened to a lot of the music back then, and then I got into Cell Dweller, but I didn't quite put the two and two together that it was the same dude. Then after that, I figured it out, and, uh, you know, I've had conversation with him a couple times because, you know... A couple of blasts from the past stuff. Because, uh, you know, like I said, I was a big fan of uh, Circle of Dust and all that. Anyways, there was a kind of a 25th anniversary of the uh, Circle of Dust release. So there was a whole bunch of uh, remixes made up of all the music from back in the day. And, uh, yeah, I've been digging it ever since. He also has his own little... Uh, his, his own uh, studio, his own recording studio uh, business called Fixed. F-I-X-T. So if you're into kind of like, you know, the electronic music and, you know, stuff like that. for video, He plays a, a lot of the music uh, you probably hear in video games and stuff like that. Because he does a lot of video game music as well. You might recognize some of the music. But, uh, yeah, if you're into the electronic stuff, and look him up. Uh, he's also got, like I said, he signs a lot of bands with his own label now with Fixed. And there's a lot of good uh, bands on there too, or DJs or whatever. Uh, playing a lot of the similar music, but it's still really good stuff. Anyways, give a listen to this old school song called Bed of Nails. Uh, remixed uh, about, I don't know, about a month ago or so. Check it out. And like I said, keep in mind this is 25 years old already. Just remixed. A lot of industrial feel to it back in the day. You know, gotta throw the electric guitars in there, right? Metal.
There you go, circle of dust. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, keep those copyright claims continuing, shall we? It's good advertising for them. Why not, right? Like I said, you can get lost in this stuff. He's got like, I think about three days worth of music if you wanted to really listen to it and go on to the thing. You can literally spend three days listening to just his content alone, never mind all the other stuff he's uh, signed over the years and uh, other musicians and stuff. There you go. Oh, moving on. Let's see. I know I got another real good crunchier one for you in here. Yeah! Little bloody wood, bloody wood, Dana Dan, to get you all psyched up to go clear some snow. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's all I got because, well, that's all I got. So more shows up until other things happen and uh, I'll be cruising YouTube after I finished about, uh, I don't know, I don't know, two, three hours worth of moving snow I guess today again. <sighs> I'm running out of room to put it all. I am running out of room to put it all. Trust me, like I said, I got some content with that and you know what, after I clear some of the snow, guess what's going to happen? Tonight it's going to snow some more. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was talking to another YouTuber, Mexican Spec, he says, hey, whatever, man. As I said, maybe I should just get the hell out of here and move to Mexico, right? He says, hey, uh, we got plenty of room down here, he goes. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, don't tempt me, don't tempt me. I might just take him up on that offer. Speaking of which, Mexican Spec, he's picked up a, a uh, what is it, a 74 Dodge Charger or something like that he's going to be fixing up check that out uh yeah i'll be uh, keeping an eye on that one too to see what he comes up with with that it's gonna be cool it's gonna be cool but other than that yeah i gotta go and push snow today tomorrow possibly the day after that again and then it might snow no no it's getting cold it's gonna drop the temperature's dropping again so back to minus 30 plus again for a while <sighs> Sometimes living in Canada is just yeah, hard. <laughs> oh, oy. Mm. But March is around the corner. Hopefully, hopefully it warms up and stops snowing for a while. That, that would be nice. That would be very nice. It's minus 30 something is just getting to me already. It's been cold for a very long time here. I, I, just, I don't know. 
and the snow. Like I said, I got I got snow that's uh, you know waist deep around here now. So, without further ado, I'm gonna go move some snow for a while. I'll see you all online tonight, and probably the night after that, and the night after that, for sure. See you all in the chat rooms, my friends. See you all in the chat rooms, and have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. I will talk to you all later.